estimates that each year around 700,000 people around the globe die of bacterial infections that are resistant to antibiotics. And in the United States, the CDC estimates that each year around 2 million Americans get infection with bacteria that are antibiotic resistant. And they estimate around 23,000 deaths in the United States each year with the resistant bacteria. So antibiotics uh, work against bacteria. Uh, they do not work against viruses or parasites or mold infections. And in fact, a lot of the upper airway infections that people come to visit their doctors for in the clinic or in the ED with sore throats or sinus infections, ear infections, bronchitis, majority of them are caused by viruses. And therefore, the antibiotics don't really help. One person is the key in reducing the risk of unnecessary antibiotics. And everybody needs to play their role as uh, providers or you know, whether physicians or other providers, we need to be more uh, careful about choosing the right antibiotics. As patients or family members, we need to be aware of the side effects of antibiotics and do not insist on getting the antibiotics if our doctor does not think they would help us. Stay healthy ourselves, uh, do hand washing, limit the spread of infection from us to others, uh, do not share the antibiotics, do not insist to the providers that you need the antibiotics because they may not be helpful. When we do get the antibiotics, take them as prescribed at the appropriate time and for the appropriate duration. Do not take them longer or not even shorter than the time that was recommended by the physicians.